Hey guys, so we are going to make a djembe, which is an, a West African drum, uh, out of some paper cups. So you need two paper cups, you need a punch balloon with an elastic band on it, you need a pair of scissors, some nice sharp ones will make your life a bit easier, um, and some like nice sort of strong tape. Um, so what we're going to do first is you need to take your coffee cups and we're going to cut the bottoms out. I've actually already cut the bottoms of these ones out. So, <laughs> so you need to end up uh, like that. It's pretty difficult. So what I did is I got my scissors and I made a hole and then I just gently snipped around. And then once you've got a hole, you can either rip it or you can keep snipping around. Um, it doesn't have to be super tidy. It just needs to... It just needs air to be able to travel through. So don't worry if you've got little bits sticking out and stuff. It doesn't have to be super neat. Um, so once you've done that, you can put those to the side. Uh, then you need to pick up your punch balloon. And without breaking the elastic band, if you can take the elastic band off, it's normally kind of wrapped around in a little in a little knot. So you should end up like this. Now put this somewhere safe. I'm going to put it on my arm. So I won't lose it. <laughs> um, you might need help with this one. Because these scissors are super sharp. So I'm going to be really careful. So you need to start by holding your balloon like this. And I'm going to ask you to cut your balloon about there. So cut that little the little kind of spouty bit off. Don't need that. So you should end up with a balloon like this. And then what we're gonna do is cut this bit off as well, about there, if you can see that. So now what we have is just the round bit of the balloon and we've got a hole at either end, like that. Now, what we want is we need, a, we need a skin to go over the top of the drum. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our scissors and in through one of the... Ugh, ah, in through one of the holes, we're going to put the scissors like this and then we're going to cut through all the way to the other hole. And what you'll end up with is a nice open sort of sheet of balloon like that. Um, cool. What we do next is, you might have cups that are the same size, mine are slightly different, if you can see. So I'm gonna use the slightly bigger one as the top of the drum, because I think the shape is just nicer. But it doesn't matter, so you can choose, you can use whichever one you want. So get your balloon and you lay it. Don't worry about it being tight to begin with, just lay it over the top like that so it covers. Grab your elastic band, which is in your safe place, and then sort of like a hair bobble, wrap it around itself a few times so it's a bit tighter. And then you can roll it over like that. Now, that doesn't really make a sound. So what we need to do is really gently pull the balloon and roll the elastic band up so you end up with a nice tight skin. So if you can see, the balloon does split really easily, so just be careful. So if you kind of pull the balloon, roll the elastic band up, turn it around a bit. That's it. And it's just like doing it bit by bit is the way to go. Because if you try to sort of do it really hard, you might split the balloon. So if you can, I'm not sure if it's very clear, just pull it like that.
Oops. That's it. Once you've... You'll know if it's tight enough because it'll make a sound. And the tighter you get it, the better the sound will be. Um, but just be careful not to split the balloon. Cool. So what we do next is we get our other cup that is bottomless and we attach them bottom to bottom. And because you've cut holes in it, the air will be able to travel all the way through and that's where the sound will come out. I've got Costa cups and they actually very conveniently slot together like that. Uh, so I'm gonna just get a bit of my tape. If I can find the end. And I'm just gonna tape the two cups together. Don't worry about it being super neat. It's just so they stick. There we go. There we go. So if you put your ear to the bottom of the drum and you tap the balloon, it should sound pretty good. Now, it doesn't look the tidiest, so what we can do to tidy it up, if you want, is you can trim this bit. Be careful not to trim it too far, because it can split, and then your, your drum won't make a sound. And that would be pretty rubbish. Ooh. So mine looks like this now. Looks cool. Um, what you can do is if you've got loads of brown tape, this is the kind of papery kind of tape. So you can just wrap the whole thing in tape and it'll give you a nice brown skin. Um, what I did with this one, which I'm about to show you. Doo -doo -doo. I got some white paper, just printer paper, and I made some paper mache solution by mixing flour and water together. But if you just Google how to do that, you can find how to do it. And then I paper mache it with strips of white paper, left it overnight so it's really hard. And then I used a black pen, just like this one, but black. And I drew these crisscrossy sort of African style patterns on it. And then I even got some thread and with a hot glue gun, I stuck it round and I went up and down and up and down. So it looks like the tension strings of a djembe that keep the string, the, the skin tight. So yeah, that's how you make your djembe. You could leave it like that if you wanted to, or you could wrap it in paper even and just draw on the paper. Um, but yeah, have a go and see what you reckon.